constantly feeling like today is the first day where I feel like I'm I'm going back to work. Um, today feels like that day. I don't really feel like I'm in the. I don't feel like I've worked out my routine. I'm back in my routine yet. It still feels very up in the air, flighty. So it's kind of the nature of things. So I am ridiculously tired. And I'm sitting in traffic and I see those two guys on their motorcycle not whipping, not being fast, not being dangerous, just just splitting the lanes. And I think to myself, I want a motorcycle. <laughs> oh, it's traffic, man. I gotta I'm I'm almost at the point where it's like maybe I should get an electric car so I can get in the carpool lane, but Look, it's, it's just as bad in the carpool lane as it is in my lane right now. What value does that have? So I know I'm hitting the drone thing a little hard these couple of days, but you need to see this sunset. Again, yep, that target life. Gotta figure out what to get you for Mother's Day. Oh, we're buying your mom's gift and then teacher appreciation gifts. And your gift. We're getting my gift? Yeah. I don't know what I want. I want gift too. Um, I want gift too. Hmm. Yeah, I want gift too. Frozen uh, pizza pocket, uh, you know, tortilla right pizza, pizza rolls. Right on, you got me pegged. Mm-hmm. It's like a do-it-yourself first aid kit. And the, the case is actually free if you buy at least three of the items down here. Really? Yeah. Wow. The Neosporin Pain Plus Itch Plus Scar. Okay, item. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. I, I wasn't sure about what else to get other than Band-Aids and the Neosporin. That's... Nail polish remover for, that's not for in the kit. <laughs> um, so those are all... Those are all very I get superficial wounds. Um, yeah. But you're only gonna put a couple in there. You're not gonna just cram the whole box in. You know what I mean? Like you're gonna take one of the sheets. Oh, what am I supposed to put in our first aid kit? So usually you want some pain reliever. You don't have any pain reliever. Okay. Um, you want something to handle large cuts. So usually either gauze pads or um, you want tape as well. You want, um, yeah, hold on. Is there no gauze roll? This is good because it won't okay. it won't stick to skin like gauze will okay. if it's an open wound like so a, like an abrasion gauze pads to go with it? I got hard to um, I got, I got You can for heavy bleeders you need something that you can apply pressure with and gauze pads work Okay, aside from just using your clothes if okay, it's really let's bad get the gauze pads. Okay um, Should I get the children's Benadryl instead of the regular Benadryl? No, you get regular Benadryl and just give them half and then gloves are okay, but I have so many gloves that they're, okay. that's just a waste. What else we got? Non-stick pads are good, but if you're going with that, I would just stick with that. Yeah. Yeah. So then the question. The only is, problem is it's not. So one of the things. This what is about a problem because this doesn't have. It's not um, sterilely wrapped. Like once you take it out of this, mm. like it's not wrapped anymore. Okay. So how are these? Are these sterilely wrapped? Yeah. See, see how those are. In their yeah. own little containers. Okay. Those are better. Okay. So let's talk about the case. Because I looked at this specifically because the Ojoy case is so cute. But then I was thinking, in case of an emergency, don't you want something that looks like a first aid kit? Yes. You are totally right. So if you're injured and the only person there doesn't know how to find your first aid kit, you're going to be in trouble. Right. So you want something that stands out, is red, and has the cross on it. That is exactly what you want. So what you're saying is this is a bad move. This is cute, but this is what you want. Because you're not going for a fashion statement. It's That's a, first a aid good kit. like first aid holder for an iPad. It's a yeah no. Do you have some hot chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Okay. They are really uh, 
taking out all the stops for Cinco de Mayo here. I this was running. This, this is, thing? I was running. Beekman 102. What is it? It's my favorite farm run by a gay couple. Oh, this is the marvelous Beekmans or whatever? Fabulous. Yeah. Well, everybody's screaming in this house. I'm getting some kind of allergy thing or sick, so I got a neti pot in my future. Um, I'm gonna go. So, question of the day. How many first aid kits do you have? Do you have them in uh, different places? Do you have them in the bags you carry, in your car, at home? What do you have and where do you keep them? All right, post it in the comments below. See you tomorrow. End of the video, and this is what we call a trailer. It's where I ask you, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see my day-to-day -day vlogs, hit subscribe. And if you want, I've got a whole playlist with over 700 videos just talking about stuff that you just watched. So if you enjoy all of that, go check that out too. I really appreciate you coming. Comment below. I engage with everybody. And thanks a lot.